Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the wave function solutions to the quantum mechanical particle on a ring problem. The ground state, the m sub l equals 0 solution, has the form 1 over the square root of 2 pi times e to the 0 i phi. And since e to the 0 power is equal to 1, this is a constant 1 over the square root of 2 pi. The next higher energy solutions are the doubly degenerate 1 and minus 1 for m sub l. Here we see the real part of psi 1, where m sub l is equal to 1, which has the form 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the i phi. For all the wave functions in this video, we are going to be looking at just the real part of the wave function. Similar graphs could be drawn for the imaginary parts as well. Here is the wave function solution for the m sub l equals 2 state. Notice that this function for the real part has four nodes, whereas for psi 1 there were two nodes, and for psi 0 there were zero nodes. So note that as far as the real and separately the imaginary parts of the wave function, that they have two n nodes. Here, for comparison, we have the real parts of the wave function solutions for the states m sub l equals 0, m sub l equals 1, m sub l equals 2, and m sub l equals 3. Here is a three-dimensional representation of the wave function solution when m sub l equals 0. The actual function is the top of the cylinder depicted. Here is a three-dimensional depiction of the real part of the wave function solution where m sub l is equal to 1. The plane of rotation is depicted in the very dark brown. Here is a three-dimensional representation of the wave function solution where m sub l is equal to 2. Note that there are 2 times m sub l equals 4 nodes in this real part of the wave function. Here is the wave function solution for the state m sub l equals 3, showing the real part of the wave function, and showing the 2 times m sub l equals 6 nodes in the real part of the wave function. Here we see a three-dimensional representation of the real part of the wave function solution where m sub l is equal to 5, showing the 10 nodes. Here we have the m sub l equals 6 case showing the real part of the wave function, and 12 nodes. Here in blue, we have the real part of the wave function solution where m sub l is equal to 0. In orange, we have the real part for when m sub l is equal to 1, and in black, we have the product psi 1 star psi 0. Recall that 
eigenfunctions of an operator with different eigenvalues are orthogonal. Since m sub l equals 0 and m sub l equals 1 are different eigenvalues, the corresponding eigenfunctions must be orthogonal to each other. For clarity, we first remove the curve for m sub l equals 0. Then we remove the curve for m sub l equals 1. The line in black corresponds to the product psi 1 star psi 0, and the area under this curve corresponds to the value of the integral from 0 to 2 pi of psi 1 star psi 0 d tau. Note that using the properties of integrals that the integral from 0 to 2 pi is equal to the integral from 0 to pi plus the integral from pi to 2 pi. And this separation is shown by the short vertical line in the middle of the graph. Since regions above the x-axis are considered positive and those below the axis negative, the region shaded in dark gray is positive, that in light gray is negative, and since they have the identical shape and same size, they exactly counterbalance each other to equal a net area of zero, which tells us that the expression 1 over 2 pi, the integral from 0 to pi of the real parts of the wave functions, is an integral that is exactly equal to zero, and that corresponds to the region to the left of the short vertical line in the center of the graph. The same reasoning applies on the right hand side of the graph where we have a positive region in dark gray and a negative area in light gray that exactly counterbalance showing the integral over that region is exactly equal to zero. Since the area on the left hand side is equal to zero, which makes the integral equal to zero, and the area on the right half is equal to zero, making that integral also equal to zero. And since zero plus zero equals zero, that tells us that the integral of psi one star psi zero is equal to zero, and therefore the m sub l equals zero and m sub l equal one states are orthogonal to each other. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.